Okay guys, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are first we're going to determine what exactly we're going to do, whether I'm going to order just a motor or the whole uh, uh, rack and pinion. And the second part is going to be actually replacement, whichever, just a motor or the whole thing. So let's get to the first part, which is uh, disassembling and uh, determining what, uh, what exactly need to be ordered. All right, let's get to it. Well, guys, I really don't see anything wrong with the rack and pinion itself, with the rack itself. Um, I see some uh, marks, small marks on, uh, on the motor itself. Uh, so I'm really leaning towards the ordering just a motor uh, because um, it's an easy, it would be an easy fix for me. Um, it's, it's right here. I just have to, uh, I just have to unbolt three bolts, unplug it, put new one in and uh, we're good to go. Worst case scenario, I'm, I'm gonna lose $150 uh, or I may even uh, get a whole rack and just attempt to uh, replace in, uh, just a motor. We'll see. All right, let me just order it. Another thing that I just noticed, half of the clips, uh, retainer clips are missing from uh, fender liners from uh, the front uh, splash guard or plastic that goes underneath. Not cool, Tesla, not cool. Okay, guys, so, um, got a new pump. Well, pump, new motor. Um, bought this one off of eBay. Uh, actually, the, it was a pretty good deal. Um, I sent an offer, $75, and my offer was accepted. So uh, with uh, tax, uh, it was pretty much $80. So basically what you do, you just untie these bolts, rotate it, and pull it out. Put new one in, hopefully you're not going to jam the belt, and put one in, and tight, uh, rotate it to take a slack off uh, the belt, tight your bolts, and it should be it. Plug your plugs. Um, one thing that I do want to get done before, I want to shut the uh, car down completely just in case i don't know if it, it's gonna matter or not but uh i do want to shut it off completely and uh in order to do that you you will have to disconnect uh, one of the terminals of this auxiliary battery and um, there is a great plug under the uh, rear seat you have to unplug that plug and car is going to be pretty much dead completely and uh, we'll get to replacement then so let's shut it down first and uh, let's get it done. Okay guys, so I've got a uh, gray plug installed. As soon as I put the uh, auxiliary battery terminal on, the uh, car will become alive. Uh, I'm basically expecting that there is going to be some kind of error message showing that it needs uh, calibration or some kind of fault. Um, but uh, uh, it still should give me a feeling of how it's going to be driving because um, car was driving this way <clears throat> uh, way before it's got updated so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be feeling it right away so I do get a message incompatible drive system software detected so um, let's see if it's gonna drive Let's put it in drive. Okay, it is. It is steering. 
let's take it on the road okay guys so um, <clears throat> um, the car is driving the same except now I don't have uh, autopilot because of that pro because of that message and what I mean by how it's driving let me show you I'm, I'm getting off the exit but let me just show you it's it's really responsive and uh, it's it's not exactly comfortable to drive uh, like watch if I move the steering wheel just a tiny bit the whole car moves instantly um, and I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that's how uh, dual motor drives so I will have to do a little bit more research and see if I'm just chasing the ghost maybe it's just the way it's supposed to drive okay guys so I just put an original motor back in the car and uh, I want to take it on the road and see exactly what it feels uh, whether it feels the same or not um, no error messages so far so yeah uh, yeah it drives exactly the same uh, with uh, with this motor and the motor that uh, I bought uh, on eBay let's put it in a autopilot okay so yeah it's uh, it drives fine in autopilot uh, let's change the lane Yeah, I will do a little bit more research. <clears throat> I will compare side by side uh, regular one and uh, dual motor, um, and um, we'll we'll get back to it. Uh, if that's just the way it runs, if that's just the way the dual motor drives, then uh, well, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, I'll just I'm gonna have to get used to it. Okay, guys. So this is gonna be it for this uh, project. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put Frank in, and uh, I will have to reorder those retainers, clips that uh, Tesla uh, didn't install when they were doing their work. Um, and that's gonna be it, um, unless uh, I'll find out that it's it's not supposed to drive that uh, responsive or that aggressive. Um, then uh, I will have to replace the rack and pinion. Um, but as far as uh, you know rebuilding this uh, Tesla I'm pretty happy um, no warning lights everything else uh, is work just like it should and um, I'm actually starting a new project um, let me give you a quick peek uh, I can't see if you can, I'm not sure if you can see but uh, that thing right there is a Bobcat T320 obviously and uh, that's my next project I, and I already started doing this project started working on the engine long story short I bought this project from an auction and uh, it had uh, uh, fire damage so it's a long project so make sure you subscribe to my channel to follow along and see the progress of this rebuild okay guys so I'll see you in the next one